Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at Stellaris Console Edition. This release is on the 26th of February 2019, priced at £31.99, the $39.99 and €39.99. But it's a bit of a first look today, so let's jump into it and check it out. Right, so we're setting up a new game. Um, we can select Empire, Randomize or Create a New. So we're just going to do Randomize, just to make it quick and easy. Um, galaxy size, galaxy shape, let's leave all this as is, but you can see you can change all of this sort of stuff. Um, let's leave it all as is. You've got to be careful as well, you can see at the bottom there it's saying uh, game not eligible for achievements, so you've got to turn stuff on and off. Oh, there we go, so it was the Iron Man mode. If you've got that off. You can't get achievements in game, right? So we we'll leave that on. Okay, um, that's worth noting. Okay, so uh, on screen text, just going to quickly scroll down now. If you want to pause and read that, guys, you're more than welcome to. Let's begin. Blessings upon you, Your Holiness. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. The priesthood has ordained me to act as your faithful servant and advisor so that I may aid you on our divine path to the stars. Right, so we get to choose what sort of tutorial we want. Shut it down, tips only or full. Well, it's first time we're playing, so let's An go for full. Decision. You will have my full support. Right, good to Building know. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. Okay, the first mission is to fully survey our home system. I have added an, it as an entry to the situation. I'll press left on the D-pad to enter Empire Management, uh, the Empire Management menu, and select Situation Log. Right, so let's do the that. The Empire Management menu will help you manage our empire as you grow. Each menu provides information on specific aspects of our empire, giving. Okay, so. Situation the situation log. log displays a list of all currently available special projects. And okay. So, survey home system, there we go. Right, so we need to fully explore our home system before venturing out into the galaxy. Press right to access the outliner. Select a science ship with the cursor, move and select the sun by pressing A. Select survey system. Our ship will now plot a course to survey all planetary bodies within the system. Okay, so let's go back, press right on the D-pad. The outliner is where there we, we can view our planets, military fleets, civilian ships. Let's right, close that. So, uh, which one was it again? Science ship. There we go. Select this that. This is our science ship which is used to survey astronomical objects. Yeah, okay, and then we go over the sun, order there, survey. Um, so, why, oh, it's paused, aha. Pause and play at any time during the game. Holding down the button will change game speeds. Okay, yeah, so let's just speed that up to max, similar to, um, City Skylines, I think you press on the white button, speed it up, pause it, etc. Close that. Okay. Um, let's wait for it to do its thing then, I suppose. We have found an anomaly. From time to time, our science ships will discover strange things while surveying worlds. These can be researched by scientists, but be certain their skills are up to the task. Okay. Uh, so if you research effort for fail, there's a small chance of losing either the scientist or the science ship, or if we are especially unlucky, both. Okay. So... <clears throat> During the survey of a astute observer may already have noticed, habitable planets are divided into a number of surface tiles. Tiles can generate resources, but we will need planetary buildings to get the most out of them. Okay, right. I was looking at this, thank you. <laughs> so during our survey of the home system we found something on Laura that did not match early observations made from our home world. Um so what can we do? Um Anomaly level one, failure risk is zero. 
So let's research. I think he's going back now, isn't he? Yeah, he's going back to research that. There we go then, secrets at the doorstep. The anomaly we detected on Laura unveils something astonishing. The planet is surrounded by a trail undoubtedly produced by FTL engines. We are unable to trace it to its origin due to it being generated long ago. We should continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies whenever we get the chance. It will most assuredly grant us new knowledge and technology. Okay, so this is the story open up. Right, so he's just on his way to the last planet, but we've got a uh, habitable world survey. We now know that, without a doubt, that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Provol. Both the science community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalogue the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. Um, so let's have a look. Um, so if we see that one, we get influence, and that one begins the habitable world survey event chain. Um, let's just get some influence, just for the sake of it. Right, so he's doing the well last done. planet. The survey of our home system has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. Okay. System surveyed this Yusvera system has been fully surveyed. Okay, let's agree. Right, what next? We should continue our exploration efforts. I recommend sending a science ship to survey neighboring star systems. Let us boldly go where no synthetic intelligence has gone before. Okay. The resources generated by our homeworld will only take us so far. Luckily, our science ship has just found a resource deposit on another world. The time has come to use our construction ship to build a mining station. Right. Surveyed worlds sometimes possess unique properties that make them valuable objects of research. These physics, society, or engineering resources can be collected by a research station. My programming strongly compels me to compel you to build one. We may want to consider building a second science ship. This would double the speed at which we can survey our galactic neighbourhood. Okie dokie. Right, so he wants us to build a second science ship. So, outlier construction this ship. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. Where an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. Okay. A healthy supply of minerals and energy credits is critical to the well-being of any interstellar power. We should take steps to increase our production of these resources. Okie dokie. Right, let's have a look then. Um, construction ship. What can we get him to do? No orders. Manage. Um, operate the fleet. Repair fleet. Build mega structures. Um, Right, let's just quickly double check the... Don't show me that again, thank you. Situation log. Don't show me that again, thank you. So, um... Yeah, build a second to... Alright, we should consider building a second ship to increase the speed at which the survey our region of the galaxy access the spaceport. Okay, open up to home world, so that's science ship. Right, so we need the spaceport. Which is that one? The space boat is where we view orbiting fleets. Let me just uh, quickly change some settings, and I want sound because is it that one? 
hear that one there. It's a bit loud. I can't hear what he's saying. Let's turn him up a little bit. There we go. Right, what was we doing? Spaceport. Right, so we need to build. This is where we raise all assault and defense armies. This can be done by selecting armies in the recruitment list. In the This is where we manage all... Re Right, spaceport was what I wanted, wasn't it? And we need to build another science ship. There we go. Simple as that. So let's let that do the thing that it needs to do. Then go back into the situation log again. Um, build research station. And that's built from... Construction ship, right? Okay, yes, yeah, so that's from the construction ship from the outliner. Double the science ships means double the fun. Oh, I haven't been this excited since we completed the last assignment. We have a brand new science ship, but no scientist has been assigned to command it. Okay. My programming insists that I should point out the benefits of adding an organic scientist component to the mix. Right, so put you then um, how do we add let's go to situation log and it was recruit scientists so set the new science ship select recruit leader from the manage tab right okay new science ship is that one manage the leaders tab lets us hire, dismiss, and assign idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. Right, so uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh yeah, recruit new leader at the top lot. There we go, scientists. Right, I do know what I'm doing really. Um, let's go for. because you're the cheapest. Alright, so he's available. Good. The there scientist has assumed command of our new science ship and can now be sent off at our leisure to explore new systems and or meet some grisly fate. Okay. We have the ability to manually design new ships in the ship designer screen. This is a fairly straightforward process, though one that can be fully automated if we so wish. Okay, let's have a quick look at that then. Um, there is loads of stuff in this tutorial lot. There's the ship design. So Empire Management menu. Ship design a new design. Right there it is, ship design. All the ships in use within our empire are designed here. New hull sizes and components will be unlocked as we research new technologies. Okay, let's show me that again, thank you. So Auto generated designs. Can we do a new one? Let's have a look. Let's look at construction ship. Oh, there's loads of stuff here. Look. Um, let's do auto complete ship. There we go. I'm assuming we have to find new stuff. I don't know. Uh, but that was really complicated, and I'm going to leave that Good for job. now. The ship design. Okay. Um, so let's head back into the situation of what tutorials next. Build a mining station. Do this one, so we need to select the construction ship. Right, so, building mining station, select the construction ship from the outliner. With the cursor, select a diamond, mineral, or electric symbol, energy credits deposit. Select build mining station. Right, so we have. Uh, construction ship and let's select that one build mining station there we go, I see him do that I think that's about done now isn't it
Very good. The new mining station is operational, and it has already begun gathering resources for processing. Okay. Well, that's that done then. Right, let's, let's do this one actually next. So we're sending the uh, science ship. Press the right stick in to open the galaxy map, select one of the neighbouring stars. And the science ship on our journey to this star system and survey all bodies within. Okay, so. Science ship. Where was the new one that we built? Is it that one? Yeah, so we select the science ship. Press that. Zoom out a bit. Neighbouring star. Let's have a look. Let's send him to... Dres Drezel. Yep, that'll do. So just press A. Survey the system. Off he goes. Let's have a quick look at this uh, galaxy map. Obviously these can all be... Uh, you saw it at the beginning there. Change all of this in the settings. How big you want it, how small you want it, etc. There's loads of stuff. There's loads and loads to this game. I'm only going to be touching the surface during this uh, first look video. Um, right, let's go back to the system then. What is next? Um, research station. So, construction ship from the outliner. Select a uh, physics, engineering, or society emblem. And build a research station. Okay, so physics, engineering, or society. So, construction ship. Um, what is nearby? Something that's close. That fits in with that. I suppose this one here. If we select that. Build a research station. There we go. He's off doing that. I saw a quick look through these other things in this menu. So, click left. Technology, the so I'll technology this. screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. Okay, so let's have a look. Society, engineering, or physics. Let's go for engineering since that's what we're we got going on the other thing. Um, so, do we just select research? Aha. Oh, abnormal conditions, what's this? Oh, this is the ship that we sent out to the other star. So our science ship scans the surface of Dresel 5. It becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. Its composition and history provides it provides it with extra materials that we should take opportunity to gather. We should surely come across even more irregular irregularities like this as we survey new planets and should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Okay. Right, let's get back to this. Let's um what should we put some research into? Just let's just do that one there. There we go. Well I started that 38 months remaining on that. Right, that's that anyway. Cosmography, so look at this. And sectors tab provides an overview of all our colonized worlds, pops, and resource output. It also allows us to create and manage semi-autonomous sectors, which are vital to administering larger empires. Right, there's a little bit there about the first league, so that's from that other science ship that's scanning through Dressel. Um, right, I'm just going to press A on Situation that for now. Log updated. Right, so this is planets. In the expansion planner, we find nearby habitable planets that may present opportunities for colonization. Okay. We can build colony ships and issue them orders directly from this screen. Construction complete. Okay, let's close Our that. Our new research station is online, and its science staff have begun their work. What secrets will they uncover? What forbidden mysteries of creation? Ooh. Well, we feel like we've got something going now. Um, so, what is colonizable? Dressel 2. So, I select that. I 
it's got volcanoes, um, all sorts. Right, I'm not going to get into the, the guts of going to another planet just yet. I'm just going to quickly go through system survey complete. The uh, management tab on the left side there. So society is next. Um, okay, that's quite in depth. Let's do an overview expansion. Loads of stuff here. Um, again, I'm just going to quickly skim through this just for a first look. There's people. Ship designer, we've looked at that already. War. Oh, so you can get into battles. Right, well, that they won't show at the minute, so they're probably locked for now. Right. So this is map mode. Sectors map, so you can change your map look at layout by the looks of things as well there um, what's these energy credits these are all the materials basically along the top as well there so everything that we've got with three out of 14 ships uh, naval capacity so that's the uh, like warships and stuff and press down on the d-pad we've got physics research society research and traditions available Traditions? Yeah, traditions available. We have enough something to unity to adapt a new tradition. Okay, so let's open this. Let's have a quick look at this. Traditions. Let's go for prosperity. Let's adopt prosperity. Yes. Thank you. Right, and what do these do? Oh, so yeah. Adopt adoption effect, money station bill cost reduced by 33% and what does this do? Transteller corporations okay we'll do that, right, okay so there's loads of stuff here too, so these are like sort of skill trees these, okay I mean, the policies out. tab covers government policies as well as empire wide edicts Practices that can be enforced by spending some of our influence. Okay. Uh, edicts, right. So, loads and loads to this game. Um, and I think this video is long enough as it is. So, this is touching upon some of the early stuff. Um, as, as I said earlier, and this has been a, been a bit of a first look at Stellaris Console Edition. Hope this video has given you a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it does, please leave a like on it. Don't forget to go and check it out when it's available on the 26th of February. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.